Yo, what's going on, dudes? HK Titans here with a brand new video for you guys. And in today's video, dudes, it's finally here the BTD6 map editor. So, this is something that we have been waiting for for a very, very, very long time. And it's finally in the game. So, along with the BTD6 map editor, we also get a brand new skin for our boy Etienne, the Bookworm skin. So, the Bookworm skin is absolutely fantastic. I love how there's a dragon that's just flying around in the sky, it makes it look so cool cool and a really really unique skin i think ninja kiwi did an amazing job with this brand new skin and then of course we have a brand new map the dark path so the dark path is a new advanced map and it looks pretty interesting i'm definitely excited to a black border of this brand new map on top of that i also need to black border the last map erosion but we'll get to that eventually all right dudes so let's go ahead and take a look at the bt6 map editor really really quick that we guys have like a basic understanding of how the bt6 map editor works so the first thing we have is we have a bunch of selections of a different terrains that we can use. And then after we select the terrain that we want to use, the next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and choose like a background effect. So we can have a like cherry blossom petals. We can have falling leaves or we can have a smoke dust. Uh, the smoke dust really isn't that prevalent, but it's more like a kind of subtle addition to your map. So, all right, now that we've chosen our background effect, let's go ahead and take a look at which kind of pathway we want to use. So we have the grass background. So I'm kind of wondering, like, I wonder if we can actually do something really cool, like maybe like, a river going through the map like a twisty windy river that starts from here on the bottom left and then works our way all the way up to the top right so give me just a second and i'll go ahead and get that done so the way that they made the bt6 map editor it's really unique like you can extend these little pylons i guess uh to kind of like make fine adjustments it's a little bit confusing to use at first but once you get the hang of it it's actually not that bad so like i was saying we're gonna go ahead and make like a twisty windy river here so i want the river to kind of go along like a, a serpentine pattern so we'll go ahead we'll do this and then we need to extend these pylons to add like a little bit of a curve because we don't want to be like crazy jagged edges right so we'll go ahead and do this and then let's go ahead and make it like curve back it's 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 a little bit confusing to use at first but once you get the hang of the pylons it's actually not that bad so the first thing that i want to do is i want to get like the rough shape of uh, the serpentine pattern that i want to do so we'll have it up here like this and then we'll have it wind all the way down here towards the bottom of the map. And then we'll come over here. We'll have it circle around the corner of the map like this. And then we'll bring it back over here. And then this is going to be the rough shape of the river that we're going to be making going through this map. Now, from this point, we need to kind of extend and make it these little pylons shorter. That way we can kind of make things uniform because, I mean, right now it kind of looks wonky. But once we like modify these pylons a little bit, we can go ahead and make it so it looks a little bit more clean. So now that we have our twisty windy river that goes through the entire map, the next thing we need to do, we need to grab ourselves our pathway. So because I'm doing the twisty windy river, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do a water pathway. So with the actual pathways, you could kind of change the way they curve, kind of similar to what I was doing with the areas. The only thing you need to do is you need to alternate these little nodes. And while I'm alternating the nodes, I want to make sure that like the pathway kind of like stays in the center of the river. That way it kind of looks a little bit cleaner. All right and i think that looks pretty clean for a pathway going through the center of the map now that we have the pathway in the center of the map the next thing we want to do is we kind of want to like go with another theme here so we can add like tree branches over here with the props so we can go ahead and add some cactuses i'm not sure why you would want to add cactuses to a map that is like grass but to each is one's own if you want to make a, a cactus de desert in the middle of a grass field feel free to do so dudes that's the whole point of the bt6 map editor is to basically do whatever you guys want to do but first before i start placing down a bunch of objects so before i place down a bunch of objects i want to add a little bit of detail in the background by using the stamps tab because with these stamps tabs we can go ahead and add a little bit of texture to the grass by placing down some flowers we can place down leaves we can place down like shading we can place down a random black hole if you guys want to use that uh, we can place down starfish but <laughs> starfish really doesn't make too much sense on this map but we'll go ahead and place down some rocks there's like a lot of different things 
that we can do. So now that we've placed down a bunch of random stamps around the map, um, let's go ahead and add a couple of trees. So we'll make this river go into like the middle of a forest. So now that we have a bunch of trees placed down, let's add a couple of shrubs to kind of bring the forest to life a little bit more. And then let's go ahead and add ourselves a couple of rocks here to make the map a little bit more challenging by adding some obstacles that our towers need to shoot around. Because remember that we're not just trying to make this look pretty, we're also trying to make it so it's a little bit of a challenging map as well. Next, let's add a couple of tree branches over here in the corner of the map to kind of add a little bit more pizzazz to it as well. Because I really want that feeling of of like being in the middle of the forest so with these objects is the best to play around with them because the more that you play around around with them the more you can actually discover that you can actually do now there are a couple of like wacky wonky bugs that you guys may discover while you guys are like playing around with this but that's kind of expected because i mean this is the first time that they've tried or that they've done something with this in like bt6 so it's definitely something that they're going to be working on and then also if you guys are a little bit worried about like there not being a lot of options to choose from ninja kiwi has already confirmed that they will be adding more objects more backgrounds more effects and all that stuff that they will be adding to the game i know something that when i first uh checked out the new update one of the first things that came to my mind is it would be really cool to have all of the buildings from uh high finance i would really really like to see all of those buildings added to the game also another thing that hasn't been in balloons td6 yet i would really like to see like a search a circus theme update maybe they add like a brand new circus map and then on top of that circus map and they could also drop a bunch of objects that have a circus theme so like a ferris wheel a roller coaster a roller coaster track um food stands and all that other stuff where you guys could actually design your own theme park i think that would be crazy cool and that's the coolest thing about this update is that the possibilities are endless with this but one thing that i'm not sure why ninja kiwi didn't add it to the game right off the bat but i'm not sure why ninja kiwi didn't add the banana banana farmer as something that you can actually place down in the game because that would be so cool like imagine like trying to set up a farm map and then you just grab some uh banana farmers as like a little bit of a background effect that would be so 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 very, very cool and hopefully that's something that ninja kiwi will implement in the future either that or if you guys don't want the banana farmer skin what if it's just like a dancing banana banana boy that you can go ahead and just toss on your map i mean nobody would get upset with a dancing banana boy and another thing with this update one thing that i would really like to see ninja kiwi add like what if they added a like a new type of metal for your profile where you can actually get a black border on all of these fan-made maps that's just my personal thought like i think that would be something really really cool that they could add to make it to make the bt6 map editor like a little bit more engaging or if they didn't want to do that what if they made like a weekly map where the week the weekly map would give you medals and on top of that it would also give you monkey money that would be so cool to see that way you have like more and more people that would actually enjoy playing the uh new bt6 map editor because that way you they get something from actually playing the bt6 map editor so another thing that i would really like to see ninja kiwi add to this is i would really like to see them add like a weekly community made map where you can actually make medals from beating these custom made maps i think that would be a really really a fun idea because then you would like get some monkey money or insta monkeys or trophies and who knows me may, maybe if your map gets a feature you could actually make some money money that way that would actually be crazy cool but i'm just thinking of a stuff that's like a popping in my head like there's so much that ninja kiwi could do with this and i mean from the sounds of it they do have a lot of plans in mind but i guess we're just gonna have to wait until the future to see like, what exactly they have planned so with all of the different customization objects like it may not seem like there's a lot but you guys have to remember that this is not only made for pc but it's also made for mobile as well so i haven't tested uh the bt6 map editor out on mobile but if it's this easy to use on pc i can imagine it's just going to be as easy on mobile as well so for those of you guys who play on mobile please feel free to let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this if it's as 
user friendly as it is on PC or if it's a little bit more difficult on mobile. And there we go. I think this should about do it for our map. I mean, we have the center pathway that goes throughout the entire map. And then we also have some dragonflies. We have a bunch of effects. I think this looks like a pretty clean map and it's not going to be too easy because I made sure to place down a bunch of objects to make it a little bit difficult to farm. But at the same time, it shouldn't be that hard because I mean, you could place water towers along the track. So it should be a little bit easier as well. And the last thing we need to do after we get done with all of our editing is we need to choose a type of music that we want to use for the map. So BS to Flame Co really doesn't sound like a middle of the forest vibe. So let's see if we can find a different one. I think Tribes and Tribulations is actually a pretty good track for this map. So let's go ahead and make it Tribes and Tribulations that you guys get to listen to in the background. So after we choose the music, the last thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and save and exit. And then after we save and exit, we need to go through and we need to beat this map on any difficulty. As long as we beat it, then we can go ahead and share it with the community. And guys, I can't get over like how cute this, this skin is. Like I think Ninja Kiwi did an amazing job with the new Etienne skin. So with this map, I thought I could place like uh, subs with as much room as I left along the side of the track, but it looks like I may have in unintentionally made this map a little bit more difficult than what I was intending. But that's all right. I'm, I'm kind of glad that it ended out like this, because if you could just place like a bunch of monkey subs along the track or like a bunch of monkey buccaneers, then I feel like the map would be a little bit too easy. And then once you've actually shown that your map is actually able to be beaten, the next thing we need to do is we just need to share our map and then it'll go ahead and show up on the map browser now as you guys can see i've made a quite a few different maps just like playing around and also there are a couple of other maps that people have made so far i have contributed quite a few maps because i've been just having fun creating a bunch of different maps but anyways dudes as soon as this update drops so make sure you guys create like awesome maps like everybody's created here and then make sure you guys comment below and then share your maps with me that way i can go ahead and play them and give you guys my opinion on what i think of the maps but anyways dudes that's gonna do it for the video if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys hit that like button and i'll see you dudes in the next one